Okay, now moving along now, um, after uh, Lewis's mother had passed, uh, there was a little bit going on also with regards to uh, Lewis's father, uh, Lindy McComas. Can you kind of get into that a little bit? Yes, sir. Uh, well, Lindy uh, and Pam uh, have been sweethearts since junior high. And after that time, uh, approximately six months after Pam's death, uh, Larissa was coping with that mm -hmm. uh, as best she could. Uh, her father, uh, being an old school type of man that he was, didn't believe, of course, you know, men should show their emotions. So mm -hmm. no one really knew how bad Lindy was taking it. Mm -hmm. He was under doctor's care for prescriptions, uh, mm -hmm. uh, depression. And approximately, like I said, six months later, uh, Lindy, assumably, uh, took his own life. Yeah, that's what most of the other publications out there have been stating. And um, there hasn't really been any publication of uh, any uh, incident report resolving his, revol involving his passing. It's something that's generally assumed, though, just based on the circumstances at the time. But um, immediately after that happened, apparently things really took a turn for the worse down in Florida. Can you uh, kind of get into a little bit of what was going on in the recent aftermath of that? Oh, sure. Well, uh, during Pam's illness, uh, and in lack of a better word or, or word that I can repeat you know, in public, uh, low lives began to surround Larissa and alienate her from people who genuinely cared about her. Uh, with Lindy's passage, it really allowed this influx of these, uh, uh, you know, bottom feeders uh, mm -hmm. to literally surround them. Now, uh, Lindy and Pam uh, were very, uh, they, well, let me say this, they spared no expense for their children, but they were very frugal for their own needs, so they had acquired uh, quite a bit of wealth very successful people. So with Lindy's passing, uh, the inheritance that both the and the brother Lennon got uh, was quite substantial. We're talking seven, low seven figures roughly, yes, probably sir. the millions? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, peace. Yes. And, but again, like I said, Larissa uh, took the passing of both parents uh, to the point where she went to an extreme depression, nervous breakdown. And again, uh, these you know, low lines and bottom feeders you know, preyed on that like sharks. And I would say it probably only took a few years uh, for them to totally uh, clean out her bank account to the point where she was literally destitute to move down to the bank. Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, um, to a certain extent, um, uh, Larissa's manager and sort of, uh, I guess you could call him the on-again, off-again boyfriend slash husband, uh, Doug Taylor, had a significant role to play uh, in a lot of the lower element being allowed to come in. I think he had aspirations of being uh, uh, some kind of a hip-hop producer or something down in Florida, and um, he kind of mingled with a, with a less than uh, savory crowd a bit, and that's part of where, at least part of where a lot of this came from. Or uh, I would say 95% uh, of it. The uh, yeah, Doug. He was he would associate with these people, uh, bring them into his home in all hours of the night in the gated community in Florida, of which the neighbors uh, would not uh, agree with. Mm -hmm. uh, the police were called over to the house on several occasions due to the noise that Doug was trying to do again with uh, with that element, mm -hmm. and it caused. Tremendous problems mm -hmm. uh, had and involved, of course, uh, Florida Child Services to come in. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just a bad, you know, picture all the way around. Mm -hmm. But as much as it was bothering Larissa, no, it didn't bother Doug at all. No. Yeah.